Okay. So this is you, right? You can put legs on there or hair if you want. Remember, your hair falls to the ground. It doesn't go this way, right? Now that we're in space. Earth, gravity goes that way. Your hair goes this way. All right, here's your other leg there. And you're looking. Hey, where's sun? Where's the sun? Sun is way out there. Now, here's a point that could be confusing. If you drew sun right here, you might say, hey, this is my horizon. I can't see the sun yet. But sun is very, very, very far away. So sun is to the right. And if you're east, this is critical and tricky. If east points to the right, if east points in the direction of sun, then you're going to go, hey, there is sun. And that's going to be sunrise. And as far as we're concerned, that is around 6 a.m. Good enough. It's around 6. So sun is that way. It's to the right. East is pointing to the right. That means that sun is on our eastern horizon. That means it's rising. It's just coming up. Now let's go ahead and spin this. You're standing here, and here you are spinning. And let's just do this. Just put in four, and then we'll put four more. Spins, 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 spins. You draw them. Draw all eight. Pause. Draw. And now you're back. Earth observer, spinning around, right? Always heading east, but now east is this way, right? Don't forget to put the E and the W. It's going to help. Maybe on the in-between ones, you don't have to. Spin around another six hours. E, W, and there you are. Spin around. Six hours, E and W. So realize what we're drawing. We're observing Earth and an incredibly tall uh, Earth person spinning around, staying in one place, and watching the sun rise and set. Hey, look, as it comes around, the sun is getting higher. In fact, if I do this, I got east and west here. I can put an in-between one. Eh, maybe I don't need that E and W, that's fine, whatever. And then I come around here and I go like this. Fine. And I'm just sitting here spinning through the day. Okay. And that's our Earth Observer. At eight different equally spaced positions. And yes, that's going to be tied to our moon phases, but it's going to be a little bit subtle. So watch this. Here we go. I'm spinning through the day. That's what we've drawn. An Earth observer spinning around, standing on Earth, riding the Earth around. Here's the interesting thing. Sun is to the right, very far away. That's not here. It's way out there. So east is pointing to the right. That means sun is rising. Now look at it. Where do you find sun? To the right. Notice that sun is on your horizon. Now sun is up higher on your, above your eastern horizon. Sun is between east and west. It's towards the south, really. Sun. And now as you spin still, sun is to the right. Sun. And as you spin still, sun is to the right. Hey, that's sun over your west horizon. And so that sun set, which we're going to call 6 p.m. I'm going to leave some space for my moon, so 6 p.m. Good enough. That's 6 a.m. What time would that be? 12 noon, right? All right. 6 a.m., 12 noon, 6 p.m., six more hours. What time is that? I can't see the sun anymore, right? So that's 12. I just like MDNT, midnight's fine with me. Let's put in between. Here's 12 midnight. There's 6, so half of that gives me 3 which? AM. 6. 9 AM. 12 noon. 3 hours afternoon is 3 PM. 
6 p.m., three more hours, 9 p.m. All right, well, roughly. I mean, it, it, again, this is, gives us the idea. But watch, look at sun. Sun is getting higher over our east, between east and west, now setting lower in our west and setting. And now we can't see it anymore because our ground extends there. We can't see it here. We can see it because sun is so far away, we just see it. If you get that idea, we do the same thing for moon and you're good. The trick for moon comes here. So that was step six, putting in the times. Okay. Earth spin with Earth observer, part two. Now, part three. Moon at one orbit position. So now we have to choose where moon is. Now we know moon orbits sun. So moon's going around like this. The important thing to realize is that moon goes much more slowly eastward. So Earth spins, 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 spins. So each day. Moon orbits the sun is what you said. Oh, did I say moon orbits sun? Uh -huh. Thank you. Correct. The moon orbits Earth. Thank you. Oof. We're not, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Moon does go around sun as it goes around Earth. But all right. Good. Thank you for that. Uh, that's what I meant. So here we go. As it comes around, moon could be anywhere. So what I want you to do is not just try to shortcut it and draw one picture. I highly recommend, because I've seen people try to do that and they get very confused. Put moon somewhere in the orbit around Earth. And uh, it could be anywhere. It could be here. It could be here. You could do anywhere. We don't want to do all, you know, roughly 28 days. 29 and a half, but depending how you look at that. You don't want to draw all those days. We just want to do eight. Remember back in chapter one, we did eight phases. That was adequate. So in fact, we could put moon either here. We could do it anywhere, but we might as well put it either here or here. Be careful here, just a second, or here, or here, or we could put it here, or we could put it here, or we could put it here. Repetition is how you learn, so put it at one place, do the whole drawing, then do it again. And you might go, oh, that's so beautiful, I want to keep it. No, throw it away and do it again, because that's where you want it to, to, to keep it. So it's important to realize that if I draw a moon here, as I did in, the, in your astronomy coach, it doesn't mean that that's where moon is at 3 p.m. Okay? Let's walk through that. If I put moon right there, here's moon. Well, moon's going to move just very slightly, so it's going to head, it's going to head eastward, but remember, it's going to take to go from here over to here, it's going to take about seven days. Seven spins. Spin, 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 spin. So in one day, moon is pretty much there, and everyone on Earth sees the same phase. Spin, spin. And then in another seven days, well, around seven days, seven spins of Earth, right? And then another, roughly, right? We're doing that. It's good enough for us to get a sense. Seven days. And then another seven days, seven days, right? So about four weeks. It's about a four-week cycle, not exactly, but close. So wherever we put moon, we're going to leave it. We're going to let Earth spin for one day, and we're going to watch what we see. So that's the objective. So step seven, draw moon at the, as a circle, and choose one of the eight spots here. Eight, moon's eastward orbit. Just to show that, just kind of point out, okay, I know it's gonna head this way, but it's staying there for that day pretty much. It's gonna, it's not gonna change much. Important thing, it's very confusing to, at first. And then the, la the step nine, so we're getting close, 15 steps, right? Nine is throw in the terminator on moon. Remember, the light bulb is coming from the sun, the, the light is shining from the right here. If the light is shining from the light, don't worry about angles, 
It's coming from the right. And in fact, no matter where moon is, if on my drawing the light's coming from the right, pause and draw the terminator and shade the dark side. Okay. The side facing sun is lit. Right? The side, in fact, no matter, like I said, if you put it here, that's lit. That's lit. Now, we aren't talking about whether or not the moon is spinning. That comes later, at the end of the chapter. The side facing sun is lit. And so no matter where you put it, that's the good news. The terminator is always like that. The left side is dark. The side facing sun is lit. What we see is the side facing us. And that's what we need to look at in the next two parts. Okay, so, how are we doing on that time? 